what will happen when the two worst teams in the two biggest leagues in the world go up against each other. That's what we're going to find out today. And look at how similar these two jerseys are. Blue and red won the toss once again and I'm going to have a bat. I've been batting first for a lot of these games in the past and that will be our first run. That was actually quick. These two teams have the lowest winning percentages. Right now, DC might actually be a good team. But over the course of 15 years, the, they have the least amount of wins. So that's why they are included in this video. And Karachi Kings, of course, are the lowest rated team. Without a title, of course, both teams short. And that is actually a beautiful shot. Good looking shot. Open the face, just a single, but we haven't gotten off to a good start. Only four runs. I am going to be taking a little bit of time. Don't want to lose too many wickets. Let's see if we can go now. That's been picked over square leg. What a shot. Oh, he stopped it. That is one of the best shots you will see. Just a pickup outside the off stump and it almost went for six as well. Short boundary straight, so that is always an option. 1.2 overs gone and I've only played one risky shot so far. We've been very cautious, but we're still scoring. Just about six runs are over and that is one of the best shots you'll see. Cover drives, not very risky, but when you pull them off, they give the biggest rewards. They're going to go with spin in the third over and I am going to try to attack here. He tossed that ball up to the moon. I don't know what happens. Every time a spinner comes out, they just get too confident. Toss the ball up to the moon. Half volley almost. And that flew away for six. Good start. Look at that for a shot. Though. Seriously. Maybe a slider, I think. And just picked over mid off six. 2.3.23 without a wicket. But what a good ball that was. Perfect length, a lot of turn, gets the outside edge and we will lose our first wicket. That ball drifted in, turned, got the edge. Mitch Marsh comes in and how tall have they made him? I don't think he's 7 feet or something in real life. He looks 7 feet, he looks more than 7 feet tall here. This started off as an amazing over and it has been all downhill since then. Loose ball, why didn't I connect there? That was such a bad ball, googly drifting on the pads. At least I could have left that ball. Instead I wanted four runs and I end up smashing it with my pad. Shot off the back foot, smack straight. At least uh, the point of being seven feet. Comes to use for once here. That was just smack. That would have been a bouncer to Warner, I think. No, maybe, maybe not. 3.4 over is gone. Once again, the run rate is good. Every time a fast bowler pulls, our run rate seems to go up. That's been punched. And I don't know. This field makes no sense in a T20 game. If this field is placed in a real match, I think they'll at least concede 20 runs every over. That was a gift and thank god I managed to time the ball because if I had missed it, that was LBW pulled and I don't know what else. But a nice juicy full toss picked 131 meter it seems. We're scoring at more than 10 runs and over. Life is great and he gives me another gift. This time not as much risk on my side. Played it all along the ground and timed it to perfection. Why is he bowling so many full tosses and tossed up deliveries and I just couldn't put this one away. This was probably the worst ball he's bowled so far. Well, that's a beautiful ball, a lot of turn and I think that's the only thing that saved me. If that ball hadn't turned that much, that was out. I think it's turning a little too much. Let's have a look. I think it is pitching in line and it might have been umpire's call or even out. 5.2 overs gone, the last 4 balls of the power play, let's see if we can make them count full, quick or maybe not that quick but I don't know how that ball managed to go that fine, I played a straight drive, I think it went about inches away from the leg stump, I think it was a near perfect yorker, a low full toss and very lucky that goes right in between the legs and that was the smallest of gaps and we'll get four. 
And there is no luck right there. The fielders mid on and mid off came in just a little. We took the risk. And we'll get six runs. This boundary straight might actually be smaller, even smaller than I thought. Now full toss. I had already just decided that I was going to play over mid on, and he bowls wide. Still, this has not been a bad over at all. Twelve runs and a ball to go. Let's see if we can make this count. Full toss, and that is that is just plain unlucky. That ball was there to be smacked away for six, and I did smack it. But it was a little late. It goes flat and a comfortable catch. Wicket number two gone. Now the field is opened up, so we'll have to do a little bit of normal batting instead of playing dumb shots and getting out. I think this is where we shine. We don't lose wickets till from the sixth over to about the twelfth and thirteenth over. Then we just go through a complete collapse. Fall a little slower. A half stop there by the keeper, but it will be just a single. We're still scoring at 10 runs and over, and if we don't lose a wicket for some time, I think we can score a little more as well. Maybe 11, 12 runs and over. Full man, these guys tempt me with these nice full deliveries, and I try to smack them. Got the edge, and I think that is a golden duck for a punt. I think right. First ball, try to smack it out of the ground. This time the keeper does manage to catch it, and yep, a golden, golden one. Hope comes in left hand, right hand. Now, I mean, seriously, we can't lose any more wickets because even with a run rate of 9.23, we will be behind in this game if we lose another wicket and over throws. Can we come back? We will slow down just a little. That is expected after the power play. But the problem is we have also lost wickets. Good fielding there. That ball went off the bat like it had a spring on it. Another low full toss. I've gone for it because the boundaries straight are very small. All you need to do is at least connect with the ball about seventy percent, and it is out of the ground. Shot, open the face, played it as fine as humanly possible. This shot has become one of my favorites because when there's no third man or no field is fine, you can just open the face and get four easy runs. Oh, this has been cut. Oh, what a shot! This is officially my favorite shot in the match. Just slap that one away. This time to the right of deep third man. This wasn't just a glide or anything. This was a slap bang, and the placement was even better. Away from point, away from third man in the gap. This over once again has brought back our momentum. Maybe bad, bad. That doesn't really matter. My foot was about a meter outside the off stump. Try to go for that. I don't know what shot this is. Try to open the face off the front foot. Try to squeeze that ball behind square, and it comes back in and off counter. Oh, once again. That is the second time I have managed to play. Try to play at least a lofted shot, and it has not gone up in the air at all. This time I didn't time it either. That's why very soft dismissal. Wicket number four gone, and we don't have the deepest batting order. Oh, that was a nice juicy ball, and I almost get out on that. Nine overs left, edged and four. Since when is he bowling this fast? Still, the run rate is pretty good, but we need a period of not losing any wickets so we can at least score ten runs per over in the last three or four. Because if we keep losing wickets, that is not going to be possible. Spinners have not been the easiest to bat against. This ball was so wide, a lot of room. There was a gap over cover, a very risky shot still, but we'll manage to get away with it thanks to the enormous amount of room. That ball would have probably been a wide. Yes, it was, but we'll get six of it. Much needed because we've been going up. Oh no! How do you miss that ball? That ball did nothing. It was straight. It was full. It wasn't even at pace. And I think I've gotten out to a very straight ball. That's just look at that. It didn't even turn, but it's still out. Umpire's call. Five gone. Seven overs to go. That's been quick. Oh, where did he come from? Uh, almost got run out. I had no idea there was a fielder there. 
Projected score is 174. That looks so far away. Tried to go for the pole and I think that ball went right through the bat. It didn't look like a top edge. And again, Skyrim Polar too. Shot. What was wrong with that shot, man? Come on. And once again, a lot of room has been given. This time, I haven't managed to time it as well, but it was still in the gap. So we'll get four. This shot might actually be not that dangerous, especially when there's a lot of room. Balls it straight and once again, I don't think, I don't know what happened, but this game is not the best at following laws of physics. Let's see what happened there. Maybe the ball just went right through the bat or something. Off the back of the pad, and it was, I think, about an inch away from the leg stump. Very lucky. But we'll still get four for that. Gone for it, got the edge, and a diving point fielder will take it. What was that? It was an off cutter, it was a little slower than expected. Now we have no more batsmen left. And we've lost yet another wicket. I don't think I've gotten out to as many bad balls as I've gotten out in this innings. That, I don't think that's ever happened. So many full tosses, so many straight balls, so many nothing balls and we managed to get out to them. Four overs left. The problem is we have no batsmen left. So if we can get at least... Even 30 runs, it would be a miracle, but that will only happen if I don't keep missing straight balls. Maybe impact outside leg, no. Nope. Pitching in line, that is as straight as it can get. Another full toss that I have gotten out to. And now if you get to 150, it will be a miracle. A run rate of 8 and we are still struggling to get to 150. Inside edge and another one, what is going on? If we bat 20 overs, now that would be an achievement from here. 3 overs left now. Just the one wicket of course. I'm just gonna try to do this, knock the ball around, even 18 runs and we'll get above 150. Oh, throw to the right end, that would have been, that should have been run out at least twice. Where the keeper decides uh, they need another maybe 10-15 runs. So the chase will be interesting. There we go, four valuable runs off at top edge. That ball was so slow, I don't know how it even went above the keeper. Two overs left. Maybe we can just run really hard and get to 160. Well, never mind. Another full toss, I think. That's the fifth time I've gotten out to a full toss in this match. Inside edge. And we'll end up with 143. That is not enough, not at least in the year 2024, but we're going to attack. Hopefully we can get some early wickets. That's been absolutely smack, but straight to the fielder. To slip fielders, hopefully they come to use in swinger. What a beautiful shot. Came back in, picked and hit through mid wicket. That wasn't even a flick, that was a smack. Well, I don't think we are going to win this game by restricting the run rate or anything like that. I think we just need wickets, but they're playing too well. Just open the face a little bit more away from covers it goes. Those two slip fielders, I mean, the ball is not swinging a lot. They might just be standing for no reason. Edged, but I think it went on bounce. Come on. <laughs> 1.18, they've already gotten off two really lovely shots, but other than that, it has been great. Well, make it three, that's been hit in the gap as well. And another one, they are literally de dealing in boundaries, no singles, none of that so far. Edge and maybe fourth slip would have been in play there, I just removed him, but I think it still would have probably gone away from him. We do not need them scoring at 10 runs and over and not losing a wicket. Another hit through covers. This match might already be done. They only need another 115 runs. 17 overs left. Only a 120 needed. 10 wickets in hand. Maybe spin can do something here because that ball turned a lot. Again turns and that's been hit to square leg. That was not a great ball though. 
3.431 for no loss comes down the wicket that looked like it went absolutely nowhere but he has actually got some really good connection on that long as we don't take a wicket we just don't have not even a tiny bit of chance to win this game another full delivery how did he find the gap there there was no gap that should have been stopped at least by one of them tries to punch it off the back foot inside edge well it's all going their way now the required run rate has come down all the way to 6.53 oh that was close but i think it's still missing the stumps though just the one run of this over so far or oh, four deliveries well that's gonna change He's gone for a aerial and clears the boundary comfortably and the 50 partnership comes up as well. What a partnership this has been. They spread out the field uh, but that's not going to matter if they keep hitting sixes. Still have that slip fielder. Hopefully at least one ball goes to him inside out this time with the googly and that is six as well. How many sixes have they hit in seven overs? There have been a lot of dot balls and a lot of boundaries, not a lot in between, finally. Will somehow manage to get through his defences. A googly hits the top of off stump, pitches outside leg stump, way outside leg stump, turned a lot and hits top of off. Finally a breakthrough but it's probably too little too late, comes down, what a weird shot that was but it has gone straight to deep square leg, I thought it wouldn't carry but another one, two overs, two wickets and the run rate is slowing down as well, 76 is 72, I mean another 20 runs would have been really awesome but we'll have to work with what you've got, goes for a sweep I think and it has gone straight up. That's a very rare dismissal. I think even if, uh, if the keeper had dropped it, I think it was falling right on the stump. That was a very weird dismissal, but we'll take it. Three gone now. Three wickets of three consecutive overs. We might actually have a tiny chance here if we can control the scoring rate, which we have been doing. Oh, that's another edge and another one gone tossed up a little too much bounce gets the outside edge and finally that slip fielder comes to use four wickets gone now we've pulled back their scoring rate as well what was that i think that is buys i don't think he got any bat on it. yes it is buys i think it went right between his legs as well it was tossed up that should have been taken these last 5-6 overs have been really good, he's flicked it very fine though. That was a cutter and he plays it with it, Pollard of course. Very dangerous batsman, well two very dangerous batsmen at the crease but one is gonna go back to the sheds. That ball didn't turn or anything, he missed the line completely and it hits middle of middle 5 gone but they're still ahead in this game. Missed and that's gone. Well, I don't think anymore. Now I think we are ahead. That's sure Malik gone. Six gone and I don't know if they have any more batsmen left. Maybe one at most. 55 or 43. We're making a real good comeback here. Why isn't that out? I think it was a bump ball. That's been smacked, it's in the gap as well and for once at least it goes for four because every time they've taken the aerial route it's gone out of the ground. 50 of 39, we've pulled back things really well in the last 5 overs but all that effort might be taken away in just one over. Another two boundaries here and the match is once again well and truly in their grass. Flake, not a great ball. What is going on? Come on, we had a chance there and we are throwing it away here. Now 6 overs, 39 runs. No. He really wanted to send that ball out of the ground. We need another two wickets, come on. Oh, cutters are working at least. There's some good news here. Five overs, just under five overs left. 37 runs required. And this time with an off cutter. And how close was that to the leg stump? If that ball had gone straight, it would have crashed into the off stump. Flaked. Is it in the gap? I think it is. 
I don't know why I am drifting on the path so much but every time I am doing it I am getting punished accordingly. That's been slapped away as well. This was not that bad of a ball. They haven't lost a wicket in some time. Their scoring rate has gone up. 4 overs, 26. Just a little bit over. Run a ball. Pulled away. Is that going to be out? Just doesn't carry. Can we have another set of 2 or 3 overs? We just completely run through their batting order. That's been flicked. Is this going to be out? He's caught it, but he's gone outside the boundary line. Boundary straight and not big. Well, now 12 needed a 14. That's been slapped away as well. That might be... That's 4. Only 8 more. Unless we pick a hat-trick or something here, the match is done. That's been flicked. Is this gonna be out? He's taken it, uh, but once again, he's gone outside the boundary line and Karachi win this by 4 wickets. This match was... Very even Stevens, but then Karachi will come on top. Actually, they had 10 balls to spare, so it was a comfortable win in the end. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see the best of the IPL and the best of the PSL go up against each other, click the video on screen. For now, like, comment and subscribe for more Cricket24 videos and updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.